turns out some of the best builds in Destiny 2 are sitting right under your nose, and it's no different with this one, which offers you an ultimate void build with unlimited grenades and melee ability, on top of infinite volatile, weakened and suppression debuffs, all whilst dishing out some of the best high burst DPS currently available. This patch note went under the radar at the start of Season 22, but Doomfam pauldrons are now end game viable. They still offer you the bonuses of granting you super energy on defeating targets with your void melee ability, as well as sentinel shield throw regen and super duration extension, but now they can grant you an escalating damage boost on defeating enemies with literally any void damage. This includes abilities and more importantly weapons, and can stack all the way up to a 4 times void weapon damage boost. This lasts for 10 seconds, can be indefinitely topped up on further final blows, and offers you a 25% damage boost. This is more than the standard offered by stacking 3 void weapon surge mods on your legs, but as a bonus you can push it up to a 5 time stack with monochromatic maestro from the seasonal artifact when it's active giving you a 37.5% damage boost. This absolutely god tier damage is essentially on tap and is perfect for the likes of everyone's favourite void heavy machine gun, the retrofit escapade with 4 times the charm and target lock. You can bump up the damage even further though by chucking on the Ward of Dawn super. I know Doomfangs want you to use the Sentinel Super, but the bubble's 25% damage boost will stack on top of Doomfang's damage, and it's even quicker to get, plus if you dip in and out of your bubble, you can get this boost for nearly 60 seconds. What's more though is that you can add in a ton of Void 3.0 subclass goodness into this build, and also spread it around like there's no tomorrow. Weaken is the first clear choice, with the Echo of Undermining allowing you to apply a 15% Weaken debuff to targets with your Void Grenades. Any grenade will do, but we're adding the the suppressor grenade here for reasons that we'll get into in a second. You'll want grenade uptime to the maximum and so you'll need devour. Collecting a void breach or orb of power will grant devour with the echo of starvation, unfortunately you can create both of these on defeating weakened targets by equipping the echo of harvest. Collecting void breaches does grant energy as does further final blows from devour which you can extend the duration of with the echo of persistence. Now for the void trifecta, controlled demolition will make a target volatile on hitting them with a void ability or volatile explosion. Volatile targets take further damage over time on dealing damage to them and explode when defeated. All of this volatility and weakening is great, but you're relying on saving your grenade for that opportune moment. Collective Obligation laughs in the face of this opportune moment and is the perfect exotic to pair in this incredible Void build. Void Leech will suck the Void debuffs from your enemies and allow you to spread them around whenever you wish. To do this you'll then need to hold Reload to activate Void Leech, which will then apply the stored debuffs to any target you hit whilst the perk is active, and you'll also get a 20% damage boost too, which stacks with everything we've already mentioned. Umbral Sustenance will auto reload the weapon if you've got Devour active, but the main reason for collective is to prime that yellow bar, champion or boss to let you go to pound town with retrofit. Outreach and bomber will grant melee and grenade energy respectively on collecting orbs of power and orbs of restoration will grant your lowest ability energy too. Melee kickstart is a fun mod to pair with doomfangs for more shield throw melees, with void siphon and hands on going somewhere to get in faster supers. But even though this build is somewhat crazy, if you really want to take your game to the next level and start to solo anything from legend lost sectors, dungeons or even raids, then this next video will put some of the setups used by the best players in the game in the palm of your hands, you don't need a fire team, just a few minutes to watch it.